Are you OK? I'm fine. Thank you very much. I was asked uh, when I filled in the questionnaire at the police if I was a victim and whether I needed any counselling. Um, uh, I said I, I declined. I said no, I'm fine about that. Uh, if, well, although I, I, I did say if you're able to supply me with the assailant, I'd be more than happy to come down and give him a good shoeing. Yes, and maybe he could have some <laughs> microgram counselling himself. That might have been a very interesting experience yes. for him, and I suspect one that may have deterred him from committing further crime. Yes, but unfortunately, we don't have deterrence in this day and age. No, which is why we are all so subject to so much crime. And you and I had only been speaking on Monday about yes. the steps we should take. Well, I mean, um, I feel really stupid, right, because my main point of contact with my kids, with anybody that I see coming to London, is don't get your phone out on the street, particularly not near a, a roadside. Just don't do it. But absent-mindedly, because I was um, peed off by the fact that, you know, Sadiq Khan's wonderful TFL didn't actually give me when the bus was coming next, I got my phone out to check it out so that I could see whether there was a bus coming. Mike, please don't use words like stupid and all of that because you did a very human thing yesterday. You were checking up on the transport. And remember, Sadiq Khan's TFL tells us that every journey matters, yes. right? So you pulled your phone out to check on the bus times. That's a perfectly human thing to do. It's something you should be able to do in our capital city without becoming a victim of crime. But because the police have abandoned the streets and because we've got increasing lawlessness plaguing our streets, this is what is happening to you and hundreds of other people every single day. Right. Well, the reason that uh, that I mentioned it on uh, on Twitter was partly because you know I'm I'm a fairly you know frequent user of it, and I thought if I don't get on Twitter, people will think there's something weird going on because I haven't really been able to be on it for the best part of the last sort of, 12 hours or maybe 15 hours, um, and I got a massive response, loads of people saying that you know it's happened to them or it's happened to their friends or it's happened to their son or it's happened to people who have visited London, and this guy who came upon uh, you know the opportunity to rob me clearly does it for a living. He was very good at it. I mean, he barely touched my hand. I mean, I was literally holding the phone in my hand like this. I mean, it must have been, you know, uh, and it's happened to me once before where two guys on, 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 on pedal bikes tried to take it and I managed to hold on to it. But this guy was so good that he literally grabbed it out of my hand, literally without touching my hand. And he was gone. I mean, next yeah, time they, I looked up, he was 100 yards light. down the road. Yeah. Yeah, they had the light touch and dexterity of pickpockets, these people. Yeah. Because it's essentially what they are, really. Right. They're mobilised pickpockets. Yeah. Um, but very interestingly, yesterday, Sir Stephen Timms, who's a government minister for social security, was on Ian Collins's show, and he admitted, which is a very unusual thing, that people do not feel safe on the streets anymore. No. So, if we have a government minister admitting that, live on talk, then clearly we are going to see government action, or we should do. They should be speaking to the police. And I don't just mean Operation Opal, mm. which has been launched, where they're going to try and campaign with the mobile phone providers to get a kill button in, in, integrated into the tech so that once it's stolen, it can be rendered useless. What I mean is proactive policing, like we've seen the City of London police doing, recently, yeah. where they've got a dedicated team when they're out there on the streets and where to engage in tactical contact. And that means their vehicles can knock these people off their bikes yeah. because they've been granted the authority oh, listen, to do that. I, well, as I looked at this guy driving down the bus lane, which is completely empty, next to an entire line of traffic, because that's the way London is mostly now, I was wishing that somebody would just pull out and stop him and get in his way. But, of course, they don't know that he's anything other than just a law-abiding citizen driving around on a moped. But, you know, this guy clearly spends his entire day driving around on a moped looking to commit crime. But it's 7.34, Peter...